Hey guys, what's up? It's Tower from Have Fun on AppleWisdom.com here, and today we've got some breaking news for the untethered iOS 5 and iOS 5.0.1 jailbreaks. Now, as you know, the uh, famous jailbreaker Pod2G has been working on his untethered jailbreaks for the uh, A5 processor and the A4. Now, he's finished the A4 processor ones uh, on iOS 5.0 and iOS 5.0.1, but it's still got some bug fixes that needs to be worked out. Now, for the past, he's been juggling between that and his A5 processor, which uh, hosts, of course, the iPhone 4S and iPad 2. Now, uh, the really big news is that he's actually handed over um, the A4 processor uh, j untethered jailbreak to the Chronic Dev team. Now, if you don't know who the Chronic Dev team is, they're another jailbreaker, um, and they're going to be working on the A4 device jailbreak, which um, Pod2G has handed to them. Now, that will let them work on that jailbreak and let Pod2G focus all of his time on the A5 processor jailbreak. Now, of course, it's really big news because splitting it up like this could definitely um, either cause problems or make it go a lot faster. Depends on how well the Chronic Dev team works on it. But this definitely is a load off of Pod2G's back. He can start focusing more on the A5 chip. And that's exactly what he said in his uh, tweets and blog posts, that he wants to focus more time on the A5 so you can get a quicker path. And um, he said... Uh, quote, I have the feeling that Chronic Dev could help me, end quote. So, yeah, I, what I want you guys to do, of course, we have a comment question, is uh, do you think this was the right choice? Should he have handed it over to the Chronic Dev team? Also, in your response, let me know what you think about the Chronic Dev team. Do you think they're good enough, capable enough to do the uh, what Pod2G has been doing? Uh, they're, definitely, they're definitely capable of it, but do you think they're going to put the effort into it? Do you think that they're going to know how to do this? as good as Pod2G has been doing it. And um, also let me know uh, what side of the argument you're on. You know, are you for Pod2G? Or do you think this was the wrong decision? He should have just done it all himself and um, not handed it over to the Chronic Dev team. Let me know in the comment section below. Love to hear from all you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, um, like, and favorite this video. It really means a lot. Thank you guys. See you guys later. I'm Alec from Fun on AppleWisdom.com.